Greetings to all of humanity's real joy. It's my pleasure as usual to be greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you, whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That's the reason why I want to speak to you concerning the true source of wealth and how you must discover the true source of wealth that is within you. Now, this was taught to Neville Gallen by Abdullah the Black Mystic from Ethiopia. And Abdullah wanted Neville to discover the true source of wealth. And there's no better time for anyone to discover the true source of wealth but in a time of great depression. In a time when everyone is saying farming, you can say feast. In a time when people say lack, you can say abundance. And you can live like Joseph, where it is stated in the Bible, when there was a famine all over. There was still corn in Egypt because there was Joseph, the Jima. Well, Abdullah taught Neville that the Jima in man is man's imagination and that is God in man. For the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is God himself. Therefore, Abdullah taught Neville that the true source of wealth is within each and every one. And that the real storehouse of God whereby he promised to open up the storehouse of abundance to you that you wouldn't have room enough that that storehouse is within you. Therefore, my brother and my sisters, for anyone to discover true wealth, they must look within themselves, not outside of themselves. Now, as we all know, the story of Abdullah and Neville Gallen that would have taken place in 1933 and how the Great Depression would have started from 1929 up to 1939. So we see here a jammer was taking place. And as we know, the Bible from the beginning to the end, it's a great psychological jammer. And we see a jammer was taking place here, whereby there was the Great Depression. Many were even committing suicide because the stock market has cr had crashed and all of these things. And many felt there was no hope. But Abdullah thought never got it, that there was hope. And that hope is available to all of humanity because it is so simple. All you have to do is look inwardly. Which brings me to this point that God hides himself in simplicity and reveals himself in the same. That is why, as I bring this message to you, you might be looking for something more complicated. But my brother and my sister, it is as simple as looking within yourself, believing in yourself. It's as simple as, as, simple as building high self-esteem. It is as simple as knowing that the kingdom of God is within you. It's as simple as understanding that when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that all the things that you desire will be added unto you because when you discover the kingdom you will discover the source of wealth you will discover that all things exist in the human imagination and the reason why I say human imagination because we are having a human experience our true essence is spirit having a human experience. As we know, everything came from a thought. It was first imagined. It was first an idea. And Abdullah wanted Neville to understand how the science of mind works and how positive self-image psychology is very important for you to create your reality consciously. That's why I wrote a book called Your Mood is Your Fortune because the concept 
you hold about yourself will determine how much you'll be able to reap in this three-dimensional world when you understand that you're a four-dimensional being and that you are to contact the inner world of abundance and display it in this three-dimensional world and when you do that that is actual faith true faith for faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen in other words you must be faithful or loyal to the unseen to that which you cannot see so my brother and my sisters when we look at everything in the world that we benefit from it is because men and women were able to go in to discover the source of wealth and i'm saying to you that you can discover the source of wealth also by listening to this message and be a doer and not just a hearer for abdullah told never look i've been teaching you for over five years and it's all theory what good will it do for you if you do not put it to work now the bible speaks of many who will be ever learning and never be able to come to the knowledge of the truth like many religious people have never been able to come to the knowledge of the truth because they are living in mediocrity and in poverty yet they are claiming to believe in a God that is rich and a God that is almighty a God who is omnipotent, omniscient and omnipresent so their very life is, is, their, their very life is contradictory but here Abdullah taught Neville look you want to go to Barbados I am saying to you you have already gone to Barbados you're feeling this burning desire. This burning desire is a spiritual sensation. Accept the impregnation and you bring forth the manifestation. So this is what you would do. Every night before you go to bed, you would sleep in your mother's home in Barbados in your imagination while you're residing in New York. And as you walk the streets of New York every day, see yourself as if you're walking the streets of Barbados. See it in your imagination. Because when you see things through your imagination, you're seeing things through the eye of God. So always see yourself through the eye of God. So you are a limitless being. Therefore, in order for you to see yourself as a limitless being, you have to see yourself through your mind's eye, which is through the eye of God. And that is why you're told that you must not be like the hypocrites who like to be seen and heard who are praying to a God outside of themselves and fail to realize that true prayer is desire and meditation going in to meditation and visualization seeing yourself being and doing that which you so desire and that's how you're going to activate the true source of wealth that is within you so when Abdullah taught never got it how to travel to Barbados Abdullah also said to Neville you have already gone to Barbados and you have gone to Barbados first, first class so even until when Neville would have gotten the, the letter under his door with $50 and at that time $50 was a lot of money and he went to the shipping company and they told him that there was not enough room for him to travel first class and that he would travel third class when he went to Abdullah Abdullah refused to accept Neville's third class thinking or belief and he slammed the door in his face, turned his back on him. Teaching us that we are to slam the door in the face of self-doubt and fear because that is you putting the devil under your feet which is your negative thinking, your, your, your self-doubt because an, the devil is a fallen angel and what is an angel an angel is a messenger and what bring message to you and from you it is your thoughts so when you have a fallen thought a negative thought that's the devil so you have to learn to take control of your mind and believe in the power that is within you so abdullah said to neville you have gone first class and on that day when neville approached to board that ship he was given the good news that he was going to travel to uh, first class and he did travel first class so my brother and my sisters the greatest message have come to humanity in this time and you are the operant power therefore operate that power to achieve your every desire because if you should take anything from what I am saying to you 
is that the source of wealth is within you. It is your pearl of great price. It is your field of diamond. It is your gold mine. And the only one who can stop you from accessing your place of wealth is you. By your fear, your self-doubt, by your belief system. So my brother and my sister, you change your mind, you can have a change of destiny. You have the power to change from rags to riches, from poverty to prosperity. So here, my brother and my sister, you've been given the key. Neville was given the key also, and he used it, and he found the way of the kingdom and walk in the way of the kingdom and live as a son of the kingdom. That is why my brother, my sister, my encouragement to you. I have to drink some water there. Is to live as the head and not the tail. To be the lender and not the borrower. To be above and not beneath. And when you discover the source of wealth, you will definitely live in that place of being the head. Being above, being the, 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 the lender. And when we look around, we see many religious people are giving so much money to their religious leaders, yet they cannot, they cannot discover the source of wealth. When they have been promised in Malachi chapter 3 and verses 10 that the storehouse will be open for them and pour them out a blessing that they wouldn't have room enough. Yet we see some of the most miserable and poverty stricken people are people of a religious mindset. And all the great things in this world that have been discovered and invented, they didn't come from one with a religious mindset. It was men and women who believe in themselves and most of all who look within to discover the true source of all wealth. So my brothers and my sisters, let this message remind you that you are to look within and that you are to use your imagination to create your reality consciously. Remember Psalm 44 admonish you that you must commune with your own heart upon your bed and go into the stillness. And also Job chapter 33 verses 14 to 16 tells you how you must go to bed more consciously and that your instructions would be sealed. Use these things in your life to live the best version of your life. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I would like to say to you, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this message. Now, before I leave you, I want to remind you that this message I bring to you, that it is the single eye message of self-realization, of which Matthew 6.20 to say that if your eye be single, your whole body be full of light. And truly, my whole body was filled up with light when the single eye awakes within me and I awake from the dream of life and change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye. This experience will allow me to come to discover that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun as in the S-U-N parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And common sense will teach you that without the sun, as in the S-U-N, there is no life. For there is no S-O-N who can exist unless there first be the S-U-N. So my brothers and my sisters, that's the reason why Psalms 84 11 says that the Lord thy God is a son and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you 
And truly, the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the sun is what powers all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. Then, in Malachi chapter 4, and verses 2, you're told that the sun of righteousness shall arise in you. It's your awakening. Because the sun produces the imagination. Therefore, you will have an awakened imagination. And it says, when the sun of righteousness arise in you, you shall bring healing to all of humanity. And that's why I'm bringing healing to each and every one, pointing you all to look inwardly and to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your sun power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually the sexual power. Use that power to achieve your every desire, for that was what was taught to Neville Gala by our ancestor Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.